Here is a problem that I had years ago and thought I would make you aware of it, and that is the fact that sometimes the numbers, measurements on a set of building plans might not be accurate. And if they are not accurate, or you have a small mistake where the building designer might have rounded a number off in their favor so that the plans could pass local building code inspections. And this usually happens when the architect doesn't have enough room to make the stairway longer and instead wants to remove one step so that it will fit into their particular design. And this usually will create problems that will need to be addressed during the design phase and not the construction phase. So pay attention. And let's go ahead and walk you through an example of one of these problems where we're going to figure out the total rise so that we can figure out the individual riser height. And we can do that by adding up a few numbers. For example, to find the wall height, all we need to do is add the lower framing plate and the two upper framing plates together to get 4.5 inches, and then add our wall framing stud height of 92.25, 92 and a quarter inches, to get a wall height of 96.75. Then we're going to increase the wall height by a quarter of an inch because of variations in the lumber sizes and gaps in between the framing components. And then our joist, our seven and a half inches, floor sheathing, three quarters of an inch. We're going to add those numbers together to the 97 inches to come up with 105 inches or eight foot nine inches. Then to figure out the individual riser height for our stairway with 14 risers, we're simply going to divide 14 into 105 inches and that gives us a 7.5, a 7 and 1 half inch riser height, which would be acceptable for most building codes in buildings with less than 50 occupants. But if the minimum riser measurement is 8 inches, and the building designer thinks they can get away with 13 risers because when they divide 13 into 105 inches, they get 8.076 inches. And if they want to round that number off to the nearest inch, that's going to be 8 inches. And this is where the problem starts. And yes, I've had this happen to me plenty of times. When I was building stairs for large track home builders who needed to make these measurements work even when they didn't. Now, for those of you who understand enough about math, can figure out that if we multiply 0 0.076 times 13, we're going to end up with 0.98 or almost one inch. However, whether or not that would be a problem or not, I will leave it up to you. I just wanted to make you aware of it as a home builder, contractor, or someone who's going to be assembling the stairs for measurements that are on the plants, suggesting that the individual risers are too close to the maximum rise required by your local building codes.